It was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. Saga of the markets right now, and that is the story of GameStop. 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 Look at this, okay? And that was just today. See that spike? It's happening. Take the home run. Don't go for the grand slam. Take the home run. You've already won. In fact, Melvin closed out all of its positions in GameStop. Uh, Melvin Capital is now out of the stock. He did these things believing there was a failsafe. Robinhood again limited the amount of shares that uh, customers can buy for certain stocks. You realize that these people are crooks and they should be in prison. And it will have an impact. So what happens? How much does it go up? 200, 300 percent? No, oh, sorry. It gets pulverized. It plummeted $61 or 34 percent today. You're lying, because what's really happening is that you're hiding something out there. Where shall we go? What shall we do? Would you buy their stock now at roughly 45? For me personally, yes. <laughs> the show goes on! Carl, this story's far from over. If the shareholders would just have the intestinal fortitude to keep buying and holding the line! It is happening. Again! We're going back to the Citadel! I didn't hear no bell. But there is absolutely no way that that is happening. That is happening again! That is exactly what is happening right now! So say we all! So say we all! So say we all! So say we all! Jack! I'm Jack to the test! Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Sooner or later that debt is paid.